Sandra, new details coming out this morning in the March arrest of several gang members involved in an extensive sex trafficking ring here in Reading. Yeah, well, Governor Cuomo continuing to tour the state today, pushing proposed legislation that would keep guns out of the hands of people deemed dangerous. Yes, I'm told all of these vehicles have one thing in common. The doors were left unlocked, making them an easy target. New details in the fatal hit and run crash that happened here in Allerton last night. I'm Linnea Batiste, and I'll tell you who police have now identified as the suspect. Well, I'm holding up pretty well. It just got a lot of water on my feet as a truck braved its way through this pocket. I'm going to let you all see what people are experiencing here. We're taking a look outside our studios in Soundview. The weather will be cooler than yesterday, but can we expect the sun to show up? Let's send it over to meteorologist Mike Rizzo. Okay, but this is something that we've seen all over the borough, these road closed sides, especially over bridges. I know it looks like we're just jumping around, but I'm told that you use a lot of your body weight for the motions, but you don't get all that gravity pulling down. It's called Step Outdoors, this event going on. On this weekend here at Still Stacks, and I'm here with Sadie. She's so precious. She has one of the dogs you'll see tomorrow at Doc Dogs. We begin with 12 on crime. A man from our borough lucky to be alive after getting shot during a chain snatching robbery. And police are investigating an overnight shooting in Belmont that left a teen hurt. Some protesters saying they feel like they're going back in time, fighting against anti abortion laws that have been introduced in Alabama and Missouri. Oh, but a lot of that water is seeping into the streets, and as you can see, the flood water. It's just getting higher and higher. We are now digging deeper into the indictment, learning even more details. A scary look at the plans of this alleged terrorist. Officials saying 26 year old Mark Domingo is a former U.S. Army soldier. It will go down in history as a watershed moment between two longtime rivals, President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong un meeting in Singapore. Don't worry about spending a lot of money if you want your kids to play a game of gross. All of these are only 20 bucks. But right now, the focus is updating all police pre and getting those forms so they can enforce those laws starting today. In Fogelsville, Linnea Batiste, 69 News. Good morning, even Alexandra. New details coming out this morning in the March arrest of several gang members involved in an extensive sex trafficking ring here in Reading. We're learning this morning that they are all a part of a gang called Seven and that they forced and manipulated women, some even minors. And now we're getting a glimpse of how they made this all happen. The indictment telling us that they are a part of the Seven gang, which is um, a part of the Gangster Disciples, Crips, and Bloods. They all came together to create the Seven gang. And they're also telling us that um, the sex trafficking ring had co-founders, which gave orders and approved activities. The generals recruited women, posted advertisement for services, and trained the women. The guards were the gang's enforcers, and the money maker engaged in sexual acts for money and forced or attempted to force other females to engage in sexual encounters for money. And another member took photos of the women and drove them to encounters, according to the indictment. Residents here saying they feel bad for the victims. Oh, the stuff like this stuff happening because it's sad for all the women, you know. I feel bad. I didn't like it, you know. They had wild parties all night long, early, from late night, 11, 12 to early morning. And in response, U.S. Attorney McSwain speaking out about the arrest, saying, quote, sex trafficking, especially of minor children, is a pervasive problem that demands an aggressive response. We stand ready with our federal and local law enforcement partners to identify and dismantle gangs that perpetuate this abuse. And also, many of the residents are just telling me that, you know, they're happy that the neighborhood is now quieter ever since the arrest. But, of course, their heart goes out to the victims, but they're glad they'll no longer have to be a part of this sex trafficking ring. And Reading, Linnea Batiste, 69 News. Trick or treating may be for kids, but it's those bite sized candies that has everyone sneaking into the pumpkin pail. All right, what do we got? There? And these treats can trick you into overindulging. Mostly it's about the sugar content. This is where it gets scary. Personal trainer Rockland Thompson with the Brooklyn Manhattan Athletic Club says it takes a whole lot of exercises just to burn off one, like my favorite, Snickers. In this regular fun size Snicker, you're going to get about 80 calories. Rockland says the average person can burn 10 calories doing 10 burpees per minute. 80 calories in a Snickers, that's 80 burpees. Now shoot the feet back, jump the feet wider than the hand. And for just one York peppermint patty. 120 calories in one of these snack size peppermint patties 
would equate to about 25 to 30 minutes of moderate jogging for just one. I eat about three at a time. And for my Kit Kat lovers, prepare to climb those steps. The calories on the Kit Kat bars, two of these, would amount to about 107 calories. Now, to burn these two bite-sized Kit Kats off, she would have to do a Stairmaster climb for about 20 to 25 minutes. Are eating these two Kit Kats worth that much time? Now to the holy grail of Halloween candy, candy corn. The serving size of the candy corn, which is 19 pieces, would actually equate to about 140 calories. And to burn this off, Rockland took me to the rowing machine. 30 minutes to 45 minutes of nonstop moderate rowing. And uh, that's rowing to the Bronx. Come reach for it again. That's rowing to Harlem <laughs> from Brooklyn. But if these exercises are too much... Try to find healthy alternatives to that. If not, prepare for the candy pirate lurking around the corner. 20 squats to burn off those calories. Morning. Good morning to you both. The name of that woman is Miranda Shop Lerner. We spoke to her brother-in-law who says her husband, Dan, is still in shock this morning. So it's all quite bizarre. At first, they thought her death was a random occurrence, but after learning of the Maryland couple's deaths, the family now says they can't help but speculate it's all connected. What we thought was a freak event now we don't know. Family members of victim Miranda Sharp Warner say they want answers. One moment she seemed perfectly fine, and then the next, the exact opposite. Brother in law Jay McDonald telling 69 News that Dana Miranda visited the Gran Bahia Principe Hotel in La Romana on May 25th to celebrate their ninth wedding anniversary. But what was supposed to be a relaxing and romantic trip turned tragic within hours of their arrival. At one point, she was sitting there happily smiling and taking pictures, and the next moment, she was in acute pain. Her husband performed CPR and called EMTs, but they were unable to revive her. The cause of death, respiratory failure and pulmonary edema which also means fluid in the lungs. Jay says Miranda had a previous heart condition but received a clean bill of health 15 years ago. She had been uh, seemingly healthy. He was not aware of anything going on with her health. Soon after returning home to Pennsylvania, the family heard about the Maryland couple that checked into that same hotel on the same day who were discovered dead in their hotel room. The cause of death, the same as Miranda's, prompting the family's suspicions. The bizarre issue of the same hotel and these things happening within days of each other you know it just and the, the the complete unexpected nature of what happened to miranda we we just want to understand this we're told police in the dr are investigating the maryland couple's death but not miranda saying her death does not appear to be suspicious in response the family says they are now seeking an independent medical review here in the states we're also told Miranda was a psychotherapist who loved animals and was very bubbly and full of life and that she and her husband often visited the island to vacation and have fun together. Officials with the hotel say they are cooperating with authorities in the investigation. The FBI and State Department are also following up on her death. Alexandra Hasiel. All right, thank you, Linnea.